Hey, this is Buzz signing in with episode 36 of Airwaves. I wanted to uh, give you a quick update on my Zygu G90. I developed an issue with it that really had me worried uh, for a while. What had happened was uh, the radio was receiving just fine, but uh, it would not transmit. And uh, what I've got here, I've got it set up. I've got the problem fixed, and I'm going to tell you how I did it. And uh, in case this should happen to any of you, um, you can see up here, I've got this. I also wanted to show you, I just got this uh, 300 watt dry dummy load. And it's the uh, MFJ uh, dry dummy load. And I've got the Zygu running into it, and I've got it dialed down to 10 watts. Uh, although this is a 300 watt dummy load, but uh, for the purpose of this uh, demonstration, uh, 10 watts is fine. But, uh, like I say, what had happened was uh, the radio would not transmit. And I'll show you here. Uh, when I key the mic, let me, zoom, let me zoom back in here on the radio so you can see the display. What would happen is when I keyed the mic, the red light would come on, like you see here. But there was no uh, signal showing on the display and there was nothing here on the S meter and I'm holding the, the uh, mic way way far away from my mouth here uh, about a foot okay and uh, this radio was running version 1.73 which was the latest uh, firmware version for this radio and I purchased this radio from radioddy.com and so I actually I emailed them Friday uh, afternoon uh, to tell them that I had an issue with it and this being uh, the Memorial Day weekend I figured I probably wouldn't hear anything back uh, until Tuesday at the earliest to my surprise they they emailed me back uh, yesterday Saturday and uh, said um, try upgrading the firmware because they've got a brand new version out now and when I uh, downloaded it from their website, it said it was a beta, but it's 1.74. And they said, see if that fixes the problem. If it doesn't, uh, then uh, we'll send it in uh, for repair. So I did. I, I uh, uh, upgraded the firmware. Let me put this here. And you can see it's version 1.74 now. It was 1.73. And that has, looks like it's fixed the problem. Um, test, 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 test. As you can see, I have modulation now. Um, and this is on the uh, 10 meter band, but again, it's going into a dummy load. But uh, before I wasn't, when I, keyed the mic and talked I wasn't getting any action on the display at all so I'm, I'm very happy um, a that uh, radiology got back to me so quickly uh, with the fix and I will tell you that uh, when you download there's a link there on their website that has uh, the firmware upgrades and when you download it it gives you uh, directions you know to walk you through it step by step those are good directions uh, they also give you the terminal program that you're going to need in order to connect to the radio. I'm not going to get into all that because it would be a, a fairly long video. I just want to keep this short, just a quick update in case you ran into the same problem I did. And, uh, you know, it, it, the directions explain all that to you. But uh, there are a few things that aren't in there. Uh, and I'll tell you one of them, uh, if you do do this, or if you just want to upgrade to the latest firmware version, you know, it's the same process. And I also will tell you, you have to uh, upgrade both the head unit, because, you know, the head does come off, the display head comes off of this, and the main unit. There's two different up, uh, firmware upgrades uh, for each part of the radio. So you have to do, I, I did the main one first, the back unit here then a display you have to upgrade both of those to the same version or it will not work correctly but uh, what I was going to tell you is uh, when you're uh, updating the radio uh, first it's going to delete all the existing files on there 
and as soon as you start that process it goes into a booting section uh, for, and you don't want that to occur so when you're uh, in the process of uh, upgrading your firmware as soon as you turn on that radio you need to hit the space bar on your uh, keypad on your keyboard and that aborts the uh, booting because if you don't uh, it's not going to go into the sequence that allows you to upgrade your firmware so anyway yeah just wanted to like I said give you a quick heads up and uh, this of course I purchased it from radiodity.com um, so I'm sure anybody can go to their website and, and download the, uh, the firmware and get it if you don't, don't have to have purchased the radio there. But, um, you know, if that doesn't fix your problem, then you need to go to whoever you purchased your radio from. But uh, this is Buzz, uh, episode 36. Again, a quick update on the Zygu G90. Just to give everybody a heads up in case you run into the same issue I did. Uh, luckily for me the firmware upgrade did fix my transmit problem and that's the first problem I've had with the radio really and uh, fortunately I'm very happy that I was able to fix it just by updating the firmware but these are you know software defined radios so like any computer and software I guess you know you can get a glitch uh, in there and uh, you know update the firmware and it fixed it in this case so good news this is Buzz. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe. If you haven't already, be sure to like and share the video, and I'll see you down the dial.